Hey guys, so in this channel I follow a lot of beauty pageants and this will be my first video on this channel so it's gonna be my introduction. My name is Gus and I've been following uh, beauty pageants since 2004. Um, I started watching Miss Universe as I feel like everyone that it's into pageants started with Miss Universe. I've been following Miss Universe since 2004 and ever since I started to, you know, learn more about different pageants. Miss Grand International, Miss Earth, Miss Supra, Miss World. Um, so I do have experience with uh, different queens and I do have, you know, uh, quite a good idea of what Miss Universe and different pageants are looking for. So as you guys know, the reigning queen for Miss Universe is Mexican Andrea Mesa. She took the title back in May and um, not even a month in and we already have four countries with a queen. Belgium, France, Mexico and Vietnam. But this video I'm going to focus on Deborah Hala, which is the new Mexican queen. She was appointed Miss Universe uh, Mexico or Mi Mexicano Universal and uh, she's gonna represent Mexico in the upcoming Miss Universe 2021. So let's analyze her. Let's look at her background. Does she have like a career done? Um, who is she? What is she about? We're gonna look at her beauty and pretty much everything about her. So let's go ahead and dive in in Deborah Salal, which is the Mexican queen for the upcoming Miss Universe 2021. <music> So let's first look at Deborah's Halal and uh, does she have um, a degree on something? Is she going to school? So Deborah Halal actually graduated. She finished. She has a degree on business administration. She graduated with a degree in business administration, which means that she's smart. She has an education and that gives her good points in my book. Um, background for her, she also competed in Miss World 20 or in Miss Teen World 2016 where she was placed in the top 10, which means that she does have a background in pageants. Of course, she also competed in the Mexican Universal pageant where she was first runner up in Mexico, which is why she was appointed uh, to be the new Mid Mexican um, universe for the Miss Universe 2021. Um, so she does definitely have experience in pageantry, which is great. The organization of Mexico has been sending different candidates to different pageants. Actually, Mexico has two Miss Internationals and both of those queens from Mexico competed in a different kind of pageant prior to winning the title of Miss International. Also, Andrea Mesa, which is the you know, the reigning Miss Universe, she competed at Miss World. She also competed at two different organizations in Mexico in order to become Mexico. So um, the organization, I think, is doing a great job by choosing girls that have already experienced in pageantry because he definitely helps the girl with, you know, with how to maneuver the cameras, how to engage with the audience, with the other representatives. And I think that that's a very good advantage. That So definitely, Deborah has this advantage for her. She has competed, like I said, in Miss World back in 2016, where she placed top 10. She was also Miss Congeniality, that she's very friendly and the girls like her, which I think is something that Miss Universe also likes. They like to crown, you know, w women that are friendly. For example, all of them is Universe, Winners have always had great charisma and have always been loved by their, you know, fellow contestants. And um, so that's great. I think that's really good, you know, key points for Deborah in this upcoming Miss Universe organization. Now, does she speak English? Yes. Um, she has a very basic level of understanding and speaking English, but that I feel like that's something that she can work on. I feel like that's one of her weakness. She does speak English, but it's very basic. Miss Universe was to be held this month. Um, that'll be something that Deborah will struggle with, especially with getting interviews by different media, maybe on Facebook Lives, if Miss Universe was to pick her to do a, uh, like a live on Instagram or on Facebook, on YouTube. I feel like she would not be as fluent or she would not be as talkative as she can because there will be a little bit of a language barrier between her and maybe the other contestants that might be with her. So yes, definitely she does need to improve her language. She needs to learn more English because even though like I said, she speaks English, but she needs to improve on that. That's something that's uh, an area of opportunity for growth for her. Now let's analyze how she looks on pictures and how she looks on video because a lot of queens look different in pictures and in videos and also they look different in person. So, but let's just go ahead and dive into how she looks, you know, facial wise, body wise and all of the above. 
Oh yeah, so looking at Deborah Halal um, on her Instagram, she definitely posts a lot of videos and I like the way she looks. She definitely has a very beautiful face and very beautiful body as well, very nice hair. She seems to have a nice style. I like her hair dark, kind of enhances her facial features. Um, she looks really good. In pictures though, she does look a little bit different. I noticed that in pictures she does have... Um, her face sometimes tends to look a little bit longer and then sometimes looks to be a little bit shorter. I'm not sure if she's photoshopping the pictures or not, but she does look sometimes different. She looks good, but sometimes she looks a little bit different in pictures. Um, but in videos, she looks amazing. I could see her projecting really good for the camera and that's something that's very important for Miss Universe. You need to look good in camera and a lot of girls just don't have that. Some girls look good in pictures, but in videos they don't. Um, so she looks really nice in pictures and in videos as well. Um, I think she looks gorgeous. She has very, she has a very strong face and she has a very strong presence. I feel. Um, analyzing the beauty pageant when she competed in Mexico, um, in the evening gown presentation, I noticed that she had a very, I noticed that she had a very docile kind of, um, you know, runway. Um, her dress was a little, looked a little bit heavy, and she had, she walked, she worked it with very nice poise. Um, but um, when it came when it comes to her uh, swimsuit runway competition, I feel like she was very lackluster. She definitely needed more energy. She looked like she was very shy. Um, it was not the best for her. I feel like she does need to work on her swimsuit uh, competition, her swimsuit catwalk. She needs to be more sassy. She needs to give it more energy because. Judging her from those pageants before, the previous ones that she competed at, she definitely needed more energy and she looked like she was a little bit, you know, lacking on that department. However, when it comes to the uh, evening gown, she works the gown, she works the angles, she knows how to, you know, play and flirt with the camera, which is always something that Miss Universe looks for. All right, now let's look at her background and who is she? What does she do for charity? Does she have a charity? Does she give to the less fortunate? So her family and her at the age of 10, when she was 10, she actually started to donate to the less fortunate, to indigenous families in her hometown. So throughout the years, she's given them food, she's given them shelters. She likes to give um, positive speech to people. She likes to help the less fortunate. She also is there for Mother's Day, for the woman that lost her kids or for kids that lost their mom. She likes to pretty much help the less fortunate any way she can. And she's been doing this. So definitely it's not really a huge project that I see being her strongest for Miss Universe. And I don't think it's a, it doesn't have much of an impact. It's nice that she does care about her, you know, indigenous people and helping others in need. And it's nice that she does that. But it's something that I feel it's not something so drastic that will make a huge impact on Miss Universe. I feel like that's an area of weakness for her. So overall, um, my review for her or my 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 thoughts on Mexico. I don't think I don't see her as a strong contender for the Miss Universe crown. So far, there's only four contestants, um, and she's the first one I'm, you know, analyzing and. With many more girls to come as the, you know, as the day comes, I feel like she's gonna be one of the bunch. Um, she might place in the top 20, top 15, whatever they decide to do this year, but I don't see her moving forward. Um, if she's able to, you know, conquer more security, if she's able to be more, you know, confident in her in her one way, um, if she's able to, you know, understand more English and speak better, then she might be a good contender for like a top 10 maybe at most I really don't see her moving forward to like a top six top five and um, that's my overall opinion so leave me some comments below let me know what you guys think what's your opinion on her but overall going forward for her she's beautiful she has a very nice facial features a very nice body good height um, she looks good on camera she looks good on pictures and videos um, she does eradicate a lot, a lot of sweetness, but she seems to be very down to earth. However, she seems a little bit shy. She seems like she will not make good um, conversation in camera. Like if she were to be interviewed by a judge, or she might struggle with her judge's interview. So I don't 
see her with a strong vocal speech like previous Miss Universe Mexico's. Um, but yeah, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment what you guys think. I want to hear your opinion on Miss U on the Devara Halal. I want to hear your opinion on the new Miss Mexico for 2021. And um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel so you guys can get more informed and we can all dive in and know about the Miss Universe contestants for the new Miss Universe 2021. Next video, I will be reviewing Vietnam, which she was already crowned. So Vietnam is next. France and Belgium are also upcoming. So we're going to analyze those four girls that have been um, crowned Miss Universe for their countries to represent at the new Miss Universe 2021. And yeah.